All right, hello, and welcome to this very first playthrough of Fable 3. Last time we started the game and got introduced to all the new characters and places, and and now we are in our little mind palace or wherever this is, and uh, <clears throat> we're going to continue on with the game. I believe the next step is to go... just started a new quest called In Wolf's Clothing. We are to meet Walter in the pub. I didn't get to play at all yesterday, which was a bummer. But I was making, uh... I was making YouTube videos. And working. So, I might be a little rusty. I don't know what those exclamation points are. They look like side quests. We're probably not going to be doing any of that, so... I'm just gonna walk by them for now. We might come back to them later, but... We might not. <clears throat> you were successful then. Bloody marvelous. You'll be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sabine mentioned. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so it won't be easy to get in. But I have a plan. Come okay. With me. One of the mercenaries. You're right, bud. A cold-blooded killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. This guy here. Drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely tickled. These young thugs, bloody lightweight, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Oh, okay. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. Okay. Hmm. You're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. <laughs> In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about. Nice thong, bro. <laughs> they may not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. I need a beard and tattoos. Convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. What? I've been killing skeletons all day. They say nothing is as satisfying as earning a wage of one's own. I hope you don't think it too demeaning an experience. You've acquired a new suit. I would say it's the best mercenary uniform that money can buy, which is a bit ironic, really. You do look the image of a mercenary. It may have something to do with the fact that you're dressed as one. Why do why do I only have one sleeve on this outfit? <clears throat> Fancy another drink? I hit up because that thing was flashing, but I don't know. You've earned another seal. Is that... I don't want to be here. Yes, leave. Most group sex partners. 
you're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. I need a beard and tattoos. Things have never been worse here. Move, children. Oh, I need to get, I need to, so, do I have a, have you? do I have a quest list yet, or, All kind of a high maker, great prices. use A, X, and Y, clear all the blocks and build up your gold multiplier, is it Tetris? Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's a color thing. Great. Have you done this before? Oh, I see. I need to earn 600 gold. Ooh, How yellow is the Y going to be? Am I going to be able to tell? Because I, I don't know if I can tell between A and Y. Great. X is easy. I'm very colorblind. Have you done this before? Apparently, Y is not part of the equation yet, so that's good. Good pie. Good pie. If business doesn't pick up soon, I'll be right out of it. A business like Ooh, that crust is divine. Yeah, I'm just rolling it. It's not rocket science. Please come back. That'll fetch a good price. That one's falling apart. I'm um, they're going real fast now. Uh oh. That's why. Oh, that's a good pie. How can I help? Ooh, might have that for pudding tonight. I have gold and I so the exclamation points were just available jobs. Pie of the decade. Only time will tell. You're good at this. We have the finest product in Albion. I sell bright you handle that dough like an artist. Things don't pick up, and so will the rest of this area. Pie mastery, right there. That's one hell of a pie. Don't fuck it up now, Nick. You're almost there. You're good at this. Getting a, I'm getting a bunch of gold now. Wonderful dough work. Lovely work. Almost there. Maybe one or two more. Mm, pie making perfection. Earn one gold. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh dear. Spend your way to happiness. Have you done this before? Right. You appear to have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. Of course, should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue working for as long as you wish.
So there's a chest with tattoos and a beard in it. Is that what you're telling me? No. I don't know what I thought I was supposed to come here. It said to open a chest, right? Buy the mercenary tattoo. Okay, I thought it said go back to the road. I must have been mistaken. You can buy the shop and start your own business in, but no, I'm good. Excuse me. I don't know what King Logan's up to, but he doesn't care about us. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. Who's stopping you? We should have just what you need. These are the things I need. The fuck was that? Some kind of nap? Let's adjourn to the dressing room and see about your disguise, shall we? Okay, so these are the things I needed. The appropriate facial hair adorns the bust before you. All right. Ah, well, that's not the most traditional look for a lady. However, it should be effective in blending in with Seiko's men. Now, for the tattoo. Oh, I don't need that. Okay, where is it? Where is the tattoo? I considered getting a tattoo at one time, but I was afraid it might leave a mark. Oh, Turns out I didn't properly understand the process. Did, did I... Yeah, okay. Ah, yes, very mercenary indeed. You'll fit right in with those brutes. Now then, you better be off to deal with Seika, haven't you? Maybe you should look into cosmetics. Find Captain Saker. I'm going! Look! I'm going! Sail! Sail! Sorry. <clears throat> Okay. Um, 
I will say so far, this game is not as interesting as Fable 2. It reminds me more of Fable 1. It's very paint by the numbers. I'm just doing what they're telling me to do over and over again. I mean, they're all kind of like that, but uh, Fable 2 kind of lets you off the hook pretty early and lets you do some exploration and killing, and it was fun to explore the world, and the missions were pretty fun right out the gate. We haven't really done anything fun yet. We haven't really done anything that interesting yet. We went through that one dungeon. That was probably the best part of the game. We haven't fought any... I mean, it's early yet, but we, we haven't fought... Well, it's not that early, though. I mean, we're a couple hours in at this point. We haven't fought any bosses. We haven't really been through any really interesting dungeons. Um, we're just basically doing what we're told. Going to, from point A to point B. I recognize there's going to be some of that if we're just playing the main story, but... I was already having a lot more fun in Fable 2 by this point. So, we'll see. It may not keep up. The game may pick up. But we'll probably will pick up at some point. But uh, right now, we're just, it's a little slow. It's a little bit slow. Jet, let's party. <clears throat> Find Captain Saker. Hi, Jimmy. Back from killing some dwellers. Come on in. Yep, sure am. That's my lady pretending to be a dude voice. It's pretty good. Sometimes wish I'd join me dad with a family business. Why didn't you? Well, I never saw myself as a sugar salesman. And it wasn't really feasible after I killed him and all. Don't be shy, Jimmy. Come on over. Roll over, you stupid no. mutt. Don't get too close. Dumping's probably got rage. All right, Jim, how's things? You've been drinking in Brightwall again? And don't let anybody tell you, drinking alone is wrong. That's some of the best times I've had. Anyway, in you go then, mate. got periwinkle eyes like a beautiful summer morning sky. That's not him! It's not Jimmy! Oi! Leave him alone! He's a friend of mine! At some point I'm probably gonna have to learn the block. I guess I don't have a health bar.
All right, show me that treasure real quick, and then we're gonna keep moving, okay? Finally, we're actually doing something. Mercenary chest tattoo. Mm. Plus, it comes with a perk. I'm not really interested, guys. I'm a little busy, puppy. Alright. Another tattoo. Buried in the ground. do that if the fucking gun ain't auto-aims. I do remember it coming in handy from time to time in Fable 2. Did I just shoot behind my back? The projectiles are a much safer option. You hiding, motherfucker? Yeah, I found it, dog. More tattoos. Probably the best part of the game so far. We're actually doing something. Another one? another dig spot. Leave her. First boss fight? She's mine. Let's go. That's quite a trail of bodies. You're not one of Sabine's dwellers, that's for damn sure. But you'll die like one. Oh, 
Oh, motherfucker has dynamite? Don't point it at him, idiot. I have no idea how how I'm doing. Shit. Oh no. I have no idea how close I am to death. Don't touch my dog. God damn it. Yeah, well, there's 50 people out here I'm trying to kill. Yeah, I'm taking some blows. How much health does this fucker have? How much health do I have? Rolling like the fucking motherfucker. Let's go. Come on. Shit. Gotta keep moving, dude. Are we good here? How, how much more? You know, even in the fucking... In Fable 2, the enemies had health bars. And so did I. Oh, good. Alright, we got him. <sighs> that was alright. Stop! You've won. This battle is yours. Kill me or let me live. It's your choice. And my men will honor it. We may be nothing but mercenaries, but we have our codes, like any other soldiers. We'll leave the dwellers be, no matter what you do. That is a warrior's promise. I'll spare you. He sounds, he sounds like he has honor. Thank you. I won't forget this. Let the stranger go! Enter the portal. Okay. You have taken another step on the road to rule. Sparing Satan has been over the support of his followers. Word is already spreading of your compassion and your strength. Sorry, hold on.
<laughs> Whoa, sorry. Whenever I hit, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, I was just, I just had to take off that sweater. I was starting to get hot. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, he's right here. Cool, what's up, man? You're one of my slaves now, I guess? I don't know. Learn to dance, hug, and kiss. Melee damage. Marriage, house buying, having children, adoption. Blacksmith level 2. Damage with guns. Damage with magic. Pie maker. Loot playing. Okay, well, I know where I'm spending all my fucking seals. Oh. Oh, no. Well, okay, it's alright. But I didn't realize it was that expensive. That's probably the only one I can buy. Yeah, shit. Okay, alright, that's alright. We'll come back. We'll come back. Occasion, madam. Your first victory in battle. I'm no Sacred expert fly. on personal combat, but I would say, based on the fact that you're not dead, you acquitted yourself rather well. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago I was round. Sir Walter is still waiting for you in the Brightwall Tavern. He seems to have become rather attached to the place. It would seem that you have completed two of the tasks that Sabine set for you. If you return to Brightwall, you will find Sir Walter has some news on how to fulfill the last requirement. Meet Sir Walter in Brightwall. Okay, yeah, we're, that's where we are, right? Okay. Is that normal? Ah, uh, yes. The special ingredient of our... Ah, <laughs> ah, yes, she is. We were just talking about you. Indeed, we have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Miss Peak of Saker and his men. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Of course, oh, my hammer looks nobody has suffered sick more now. Me. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Yes, well, uh, uh, perhaps. I, I mean, of course. The thing is, as I was just explaining to Sir Walter, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The King's levies are rather steep, and we face shortages more often than is comfortable. But? But, were you to improve things around Brightwall, uh, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. I'm sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. The way I see it, you will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing. As it happens, I've learned of a promising method for amassing followers. If you'll return to the sanctuary at your earliest convenience, I can... Ah, now, the book says there is an additional, rather amazing capability about the Sanctuary's map table. It can help you find people who are in need of a hero. Sounds like side an quests. An way to gain followers is by helping villagers in need. Take a closer look at Brightwall and I will... You can now see the villagers in need. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select a villager to help. By How do I see that? Wait, wait, wait. And loyalty of others in the region. <sighs> how many? It says how many? It I. Uh, so that's ten guild seals. Putting Select on a play. A to help, and by helping them, 
you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. Okay, well, all right. I don't see how I can see how much I need to do. Putting on their play. All right, sure. It's the glowing trail will now direct you. This quest would you like to fast travel to the nearest location? Yes. Still dressed like a dude, but whatever. Splendid. Finally, tragedy and comedy will come together as they should. What did that say? Hold the right trigger to do what? The the messages go leave so fast. I just I just that looked like really important information. Let me take a quick look. Helping those in need will earn you guild seals. Hold right trigger when interacting with a villager to see how many you can earn. Only a damnable fool could deny these people the foods of philosophy, the sweet morsels of education. I'd rather eat than a lesson. Doesn't tell me anything. It has the guild seal sign on above them. Does that mean they only give me one apiece? I doubt it. I'm supposed to get twenty to do this quest. Whatever. Turn back now, mortal one. What? Why? Stay away from this cursed only place. death and insanity await you. Don't pick it up. No, really, I'm serious. Just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. Okay. It's just got a little bit more serious. Listen, you. You're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear madam, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days, trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays. The okay, Near so we've been sucked into a Oliver book. And Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, putting on this costume should set things in motion. This is the outfit I started in. Still have the beard on. <laughs> love it. Oh, Ethel, my love, my life, my son. If thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living. Uh, yes. As far as I'm concerned, this game has not yet earned the privilege to force me to do ridiculous side quests like this yet. Maybe able to 
really this early you're going to start making me do these kinds of side quests? We were finally getting somewhere, finally getting into some of the action. Now it's come to a grinding halt. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads and the eels sing the song in my heart, for she doth love me and all is well. We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. Truly, I applaud you. Is that it? Hmm. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work that we shall see? Okay, shall we? Ah, uh, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. And this must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic death. It will require a masterful performance. I played the fool once in Shakespeare. It wasn't in a chicken costume. It was King Lear. He was in college. I don't remember a single line. What fresh insolence is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand before your king and do your jester's duty. Tis a troublesome time for this court and my crown grows heavy. So make me laugh or I shall have your head. Gucci, Gucci, Goo. What are we doing? What? Is this supposed to be fun? <laughs> oh, stop! It's too funny! Oh my god. I believe I'm in the right mood now to meet with those foreign delegates. I think I shall only behead half of them. Yes. I have never seen a more convincing fool. There is hope for us. I just tickled him, man. I cheated. <laughs> Extend to the more subtle domains of theater, I wonder. Oh dear. Unless I'm mistaken, this is a scene from Morley's notoriously violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator. Oh good. Which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act 5. Good combat. Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is Titus's famous... Okay, shh. Yeah, I see it. I had some pajamas that look just like it. Put it on and you will take on the greatest role of your life. Titus, thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy. My son lies dead because of you. Now shall revenge be mine. Cold is your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. Bloody beggar, aren't you, girl? What are you doing fighting the lives of us? I'm not gonna die on purpose. Are you fucking kidding me? Do I get guild seals for killing these bitches? Yes, I do. So, sorry guys. Not following the script. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm getting guild seals for uh, killing you guys, so that's what we're gonna do. Denied my world undone. I cannot stand to live one second more. Okay, good. Tremendous performance. That's just the ending I wanted to see when I was a young boy attending the theater every weekend. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? way you improvise some of those roles, you brought new life to my words. I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honored with before. My missing play. I entrust it to you. For I know All right, we did it. You do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich. A metaphorical title, of course. A tragic comedy. The title refers to the comedy and tragedy, which are two pieces of bread holding the meat of the matter together. Complete. Oh, yeah. Ah, you have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day. Have you, perchance, found? Yes, Lambert. Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds. Thank you a million times. Thank you. His head bosom is already working. Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands. Ah. Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise. Can I leave? Barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk, and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet, yeah. what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death falls softly upon our still beating core? That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly You're gonna force me to stand here and listen to this? And so I did the quest. Reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say, Great big giant bosoms! What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. Yeah, 20 guild souls, alright. Okay, we did it. So, what shall you do now, Mr. Locke? Any more mysteries on the horizon? I rather think not. My powers of reasoning and deduction diminish with passing Pretty good looking gun.
Okay, so if I do this. I have no doubt that the people of Brightwall will end up. Dare I say, you're not likely to get much further. So that's only 10, but that's all we need. Alright. Oh, this is terrible. Somehow the gate got open. Right, you'll need this. Contrary to what most people think, chickens are... You have several new suits. Those will make dressing easy. Whatever you feel comfortable in. Whoa, what? The armory oh. is at your disposal. Okay, if you hit... Oh, I see. I was... Okay. Alright, I got it. I didn't see the things at the bottom. Alright, it's fine. Um, we need to find... Uh, oh, left trigger and right trigger. That's what we need. Is it the chicken suit? Are we supposed to put the chicken suit on? Your dress... A little... Find the chickens. They won't fall for any of that. Come here, chicky, chicky. Fine. This quest does not sound like it's going to be fun. All right, what's where are we going, dude? Are you serious? Oh, for Christ's sake, dog! Come on. I know there's some silly business, some silly stuff like this in all of the Fable games, and that's fine, but like, again, I feel like the game needs to earn this kind of thing, like, this is kind of all it's been, almost. I don't know, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. I'm just not nearly as engaged with this as I was the second one, and I think the main reason is that, like, the game let me go a little bit pretty early, and, like, was there, there was, I was out there just killing things and gaining levels and finding gear. Apparently, this, there doesn't appear to be, like, equipable gear in this game that matters. Like, if I found a coat in Fable 2 that had, like, better stats, like, that was fun. That doesn't exist yet in this game. Maybe it will at some point. Or if it does exist, it hasn't made it clear. I don't know. Or, or you know, buying... Do, trying to gain, you know, earn money to, to buy a new weapon. The, the, the upgrade system in this is fine. But it's very straightforward. There's no real room for customization. Other than just the type of weapon you want to carry. And right now, there's only two different weapon kinds. Come on, chickens. Wait. Dog, I'm doing something. What? Are y'all coming? Okay, they're coming. I 
Zephek. We're gaining the initiative. Go on. There are still more out there. Use the chicken suit to get them to follow you. It's a bit crazy. Just crazy enough. All right. Let's go find the last chickens. How far are we supposed to go? Yes. Yes. That's all of them. At last, the town can rest easy. Oh, Bird, you've got to lock them up again. This isn't right. They deserve to be free. That looks like my wife from Fable 2. You're always on about the chickens and their freedom. You know what I think? I think it was you let them out. You're right. I admit it. I couldn't live with myself any longer being complicit in this chicken oppression. All right. We'll let them live. But only if you swear never to let them out again. All right. All right. We'll work this out. I hope I haven't made a terrible mistake. You have made a terrible mistake. If People in this them, town are probably dying just make them of hunger. You know? And now you're going to have chickens as pets. Quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This. this should this be more than enough to convince this little Hamlet to it's send right aid to the dweller. I wish I could believe I believe that. Samuel awaits really you at the do. town gates to no, express that to very sentiment. Now you figure out a compromise. Haven't I compromised enough? Turn to Samuel. Ah, hello. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's the entire quest list. So does this mean, does that mean that it's, that's, uh, does that symbol mean that's where the business to attend to all right so then we're already there so we can just follow the trail okay oh you know what hold on a second I hope everything is in order You know, honestly, I think the fucking mercenary outfit's the best one anyway. You... I'll take the beard off, though. I don't know why I care. I don't know, facial hair. 
I'm all for challenging established gender roles. What was that progressive shit you were? <laughs> were we challenging gender roles in 2010? The butler is way ahead of his time. I mean, I guess people were doing that back then, but. Good for you. Good for you, butler. I can't remember what his name is. funny how much simpler a time 2010 was when that was only 14 years ago. Very kind of you to say those At least for me. Esteemed citizens of Brightwall, today we demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. For too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence. And now we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one woman, the daughter of the old hero queen. From this day, we shall know you as the hero of Brightwall before you leave. Hmm, I think I've been the hero of Brightwall before. As we pledge ourselves to you, so we hope that you will pledge to return Brightwall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your mother founded. I promise. I will. Reopen Brightwall Academy. Ooh, we're, we're, we're signing it? Oh, what did I get myself into? Very, very good, very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day. Not just as our hero, but as our queen. Go to the dweller camp. Uh, yes, we uh, have more things to buy. Well, we have one more thing to buy. One of those job ones might come in handy at some point, like if I need to raise money, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna assume I need to do that. Not yet. All right, we're going back to the dweller camp. Upon that, you have done a wonderful. Ah, I knew there was a faster way. Now I don't want to go to the caravan of love. What? Fuck, even is that? Tidings <laughs> and supper. <laughs> Damn thing doesn't open. How do you open? 
Oh, well, I never thought you'd actually get it, tell you the truth. Balder. We've been blessed, my friends. We have made an alliance that has already brought us life. One day, it will bring us much more. We require but one more offering before we fight at your side. <sighs> Balder. Promise to restore these mountains to their full glory and to protect our right to dwell in them. And promise you will bring nothing but the fiercest justice. Sounds like a lot of promises. I promise. Then may we be carried into the castle by the dark storms of fury. We'll have to wait a little longer for that. It's still just us against a whole army. We need to recruit more people. Mm, I was afraid you'd come over all logical and sensible. Well, you have brought us a feast, and we are free to hunt again. We'll just keep on eating and drinking till you're good and ready. Right, Border? <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't be happier. Restore the minds of Mistpeak and return them to dwellers. To the dwellers. Okay. I didn't have a choice on that one. Where are we going? Well, is this going to be open now, or...? You have made an important ally today. The revolution cannot hope to succeed without fighters such as Sabine and his people on your side. You have the beginnings of an army now. Hmm. Funny emotes. No, thank you. Dye your clothes different colors. More money with as blacksmith. Cooking skills. Ice storm. That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, let's buy ice storm. Now how do I how do I cast it? I placed the contract representing your promise to Sabine on the wall. Anyone can make a promise, but then what do you do about it? Has the game told me how to switch spells yet? I don't think so. Mist Peak Monorail Station. I couldn't be prouder of what you've accomplished here. Welcome to the sanctuary. Maybe it's in here. You have a new type it of is. gauntlet available. That is a gauntlet, a device which allows a hero to channel magical energies to cast spells. Quite extraordinary. So I can only have one equipped at a time? That sucks. In the original game, you could do three, four spells, I think, at a time. I know you could do at least two. At least three. Not seeing a monorail station, but let's just fast travel there. Oh shit, hey, hey fellas.
So if I just do this then, now that I can see where I'm supposed to go... Will it take me to that spot? Will it change the spot that I'm in? No. It just takes me back to the entrance. Or... Well, maybe this is a different spot. No, it just takes me back to the entrance. So I can kill these dogs again. How many bullets can I fire? That's new. It was only three before. Oh, we were closer than this. We probably were, and we fucked it up. Hey, you're broke, I like that skill. That that new spell is nice. Are we close? This Leaders and Followers mission is long. We've been on this... Most of the missions in the first video were real short. This one's... We started within Wolf's Clothing. 
But um, that one was real short. And then we've been doing leaders and followers the whole rest of the time. Been kind of a long mission. Is it over? Is the name of the mission now the Miss Peak Monorail? Or is that just any of the location? It's fuzzy. I can never get over this place. Twenty years ago, it was just a damp, murky void in the middle of nowhere. Now people queue up to get dangled across it in a steel box. And here it comes. Most of the people here will be heading straight to Bowerstone. But we're going to take a little detour first. But just to something wrong. Whoa. It's about to move. No. Whoops. Oh, we're not doing that. Oh, they're definitely dead. They are definitely dead. Somebody call for help. This must be the way down. We have to find those people. See if there's any survivors. Well, come on then. You're gonna ruin your sword like that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about swords. Maybe not. Go where? Oh, okay, here we go. Use the lift. It's a little early to quit. Let's just keep going for a little bit longer. I'd like to use the lift, please. Oh, am I waiting for your slow ass? Okay. Great. Get in. Looks like the only way. Well, come on then. What are you standing outside of it for? Let's get down. I don't want to spend any more time in Let's this get down. It fell somewhere up ahead. Come on. <laughs> I'd know those sounds anywhere. Maybe the monorail falling wasn't an accident after all. Goblins? Hobbs. Hobgoblins? How do they like ice? Do they like ice? That's what I got. Is that one dead? Oh, I didn't know that one was dead. Those poor socks. They never took a chance. I'm not getting into a monorail car for as long as I live, I can tell you that. Let's keep going. There must oh. be a way out through these tunnels. Alright, alright, alright. So where are we going? To find some old friends. Let's just say that I wouldn't want to go into any battle without them on my side. Keep up that shooting up with the rid of them in no time. I 
Oh shit, what's up guys? Why would I do this? It takes forever. What was that? What? Was, the, was that some kind of finishing move? How did I do that? That was cool, but it took way too long. What, what do you think I'm trying to do, dude? Let's leave that one. It's cute. Come on, man. Treasure where? Where's treasure? Oh, nice. Good eye, puppy. It's gonna take too long. The melee weapon doesn't seem to do enough damage to make it, to justify its existence. The gun does way more damage. If the melee, I mean, the melee's riskier, but if it did enough damage, it would be worth it. It doesn't seem like it does. Well, mm, I softened, softened them up quite a bit. What are you shooting at? Look how much I'm getting hit. I'm not sure that's worth it. The gun is the way to go. No, not really. I'm fine with killing these little bitches, even though we're in their home when you've invaded their space. <laughs> Glad we didn't try and pick them all off. That would have taken forever. Three hundred gold. I'll take it. What are we even down here for? Those people are all definitely dead. Well, we just tried to find a way through because we can't take the monorail anymore. Is that what this is? That's probably what it is. They probably said that, and I didn't. Pay attention. Oh. 
sods blocking our way. You'll have to get behind it somehow. Cave like this, there has to be some other way of getting there. Dig your On the way around to the summoner hob. Oh, I didn't even realize I was at a dive spot. I'm almost done with this little spot. I'm not really having a ton of fun with this game. It's reminding me a lot of Fable 1. It's very, very cookie cutter. Well, I mean, the game concept is not cookie cutter at all, but the mission structure is very, it's very paint by numbers. I don't know how to say it more accurately than that. Almost like that was going to happen. They don't look harmless to me. And tiny skeleton army with hatchets. And if you guys are just gonna stand there like idiots. Well then stop fucking distracting me. You're avoid it. You, until I recover health. Where is my health? I'm not gonna use a health potion because I have no idea how much damage I've taken. Ah, shit, 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 shit. I have a feeling I might be close to death. I, I've taken a lot of damage, and it's... That you are injured uh, message is not one I've seen often. I might be very injured. There's a lot of them. So do I recover health if I haven't been hit in a while? I must. Whoa. Ow, fucker. Oh 
shit, 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 shit. How many more? Can you charge your gun weapon? can. Okay, cool. I haven't really been using the charged ability much. Except for magic, my magic. I, I use it there sometimes. But I forget I can do that with my melee weapon and my gun, too. It doesn't always make sense. In a frantic situation like this, probably better to stick and move. Are we about done here? What's that? What's happening? Is he like the last one or something? No. What was that all about then? There we go. Ooh, we got a bunch of guild seals now. Enter the portal, why? You have overcome an important test. A good leader must always be ready to face the unknown and to seek new paths. Your defeat of the creatures in this cave will be told throughout the land. I've already got another area. Colors. Vortex creates a windstorm. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Combine spells by wearing two gauntlets? Yes, please. Please return to the sanctuary, and I can pass along what I know. Hello there. The gauntlets are in the armory, of course. Now, each gauntlet is capable of casting a particular type of spell. By wearing a different gauntlet on each hand, you can unleash a devastating combination of powers each time you cast. Okay. Vortex plus Ice Storm. Those two do comp. You might have a look in the sanctuary shop. I'm quite certain there is something new in there. Uh. Remind me where that is. A chicken! Splendid! Precisely what your sanctuary was lacking. Where's the sanctuary shop again? You know what? I don't care.
so we got an ice storm spell. That sounds pretty cool. That's probably the coolest combat thing we've seen so far. Being able to combine spells, that's cool. Just gave him a heart attack. Oh, it worked. Right, let's get out of here, shall we? Okay. Hollow Legion. Okay, so we're done with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop here. And uh, we'll, we'll pick up the Hollow Legion on the next one. Alright, see you then. Appreciate you.